Failure is part of creating new and amazing things. We cannot both fear failure and make amazing new things. Like a robot with the stability of a dog on rough terrain, or maybe even ice. A robot that can run like a cheetah, or climb stairs like a human with the occasional clumsiness of a human. Or perhaps Spider-Man will one day be Gecko Man. A gecko can support its entire body weight with one toe. One square millimeter of a gecko's foot pad has 14,000 hair-like structures called setae. They are used to help it grip to surfaces using intermolecular forces. Today, we can manufacture structures that mimic. The hairs of a gecko's foot. The result: a four by four inch artificial nano gecko adhesive can support a static load of 660 pounds. That's enough to stick six 42-inch plasma TVs to your wall. No nails. So much for Velcro, right? Today we are making metals that are lighter than styrofoam. So light, they can sit atop a dandelion puff and be blown away with a wisp of air. So light that you can make a car that two people can lift, but so strong that it has the crashworthiness of an SUV. From the smallest wisp of air to the powerful forces of nature's storms, there are 44 lightning strikes per second around the globe. Each lightning bolt heats the air to 44,000 degrees Fahrenheit, hotter than the surface of the sun. What if we could use these electromagnetic pulses as beacons, beacons in a moving network of powerful transmitters? Experiments suggest that lightning could be the next GPS. Electrical pulses. Form the thoughts in our brains using a grid the size of your thumb, with 32 electrodes on the surface of his brain. Tim uses his thoughts Baby, to control <laughs> an advanced prosthetic arm, and his thoughts made him reach for Katie. This is the first time a human has controlled a robot with thought alone. And it is the first time that Tim has held Katie's hand in seven years. That moment mattered to Tim and Katie. 